Thank you, Chairman. I'm Hiroki Makino from Tokyo Metropolitan University. I'm appreciating, uh, appreciate, appreciate for giving a chance to talk about this here. Today, I'd like to talk about the paper entitled this. Outline of this presentation is listed here, showing background, objective, methods, including these three, experimental results, conclusion, and finally future work. At first, uh, I'd like to show a background about imaging system based on ultrasound. The background uh, I show you here uh, gives and this is the motivation of this study. Imaging system based on the sound is typically used for medical diagnosis and non-destructive testing. As a general requirement uh, of these applications, the accuracy is very important and it is uh, usually governed by spatial resolution and um, distance or uh, depth of region of interstellar that imaging. If we can detect very weak echo signal having high frequency components, it is possible to acquire high resolution diagnostic images. Furthermore, this leads to an improvement of the diagnostic accuracy. But spatial resolution and diagnostic depth are in a trade-off relationship with each other. This figure shows a situation for cancer, cancer tumor, a cancer diagnosis as an example. If we use higher frequency to increase the spatial resolution, it increases attenuation in the propagation medium and also tend to decrease the diagnosable depth. Conversely, it is necessary to use lower frequency or, uh, or increase like, diagnosable depth. It is difficult to diagnose the tissue of an objective. In such a way, increasing both performances at the same time will be extremely difficult. To solve this problem, uh, we focus on developing ultrasound receivers. This aim to improve, the, improve its uh, high sensitivity and wide bandwidth. And those are evaluated by noise equivalent pressure and specific bandwidth. And their targets were said to be at 2 Pascal and 100% respectively. We get, uh, with this figuring in the current typical medical ultrasound transducer having 2000 Pascal and 60%. We propose a structure adjusting direct coupling over PZT to a gate over most FET and call this PZT FET. We use a PZT strip of 40 micrometer thickness and a NMOS FET commercially available. And we tune the size and the D electric constant of PZT, FET, PZT critical to the observation to be optimized. PZTFET is characterized by direct controller semiconductor channel, with charges generated by piezoelectric effect. And it is assumed to uh, detect the sound with high sensitivity and wide bandwidth by its amplification. Actually, the output was observed by uh, drain current of this FET. Uh, by a uh, current to voltage uh, conversion through this uh, 10 mega ohm limiting resistor. Another setting of soft drain voltage to drive this FET was 3.5 volt as an ordinary uh, activation of NMOS FET. This slide shows about experimental setup. We used a con continuous wave for transmitting signal to observe the nearly single frequency response of the PGT FET. The frequency of the transmitted uh, ultrasound ranged from 10 MHz to 20 MHz 
with plus minus three volt biasing. And we observed the acoustic property of PGT FET in water using an ultrasound transducer as a transmitter. The resonant frequency uh, of the transmitter was 15 MHz, and its, and its transmitted power was regulated to be constant over all measured frequency range by tuning excitation voltages. The distance between the receiver and the um, transmitter was 5 cm. We measured our proposed receiver system with these three parameters and compared this with those of conventional PZT based ultrasound receiver. So far is a minimum detectable sound pressure, which is a mini and which is the same meaning as noisy equivalent pressure. The minimum detectable sound pressure of PZT is approximately 2000 Pascal. And the recent studies for sensitive pressure sensor gave, gave certain improvements shown in this table. The second is the dynamic range, which is defined by this equation. From an observation of linear output to input relation. After this slide, I will show I will show you how these are determined. The third is at a minus six decibel bandwidth, which is a representation of the ratio of bandwidth and center frequency, and it is calcul calculated by this equation. And this is one of the results showing PZT FET output versus transmitted acoustic pressure observed for and this frequency. It was confirmed that and the relationship of the frequency, frequency and pressure and the output voltage of PZT FET has the linearity for all frequency observed. From the, from the frequency giving the highest output over all pressure ranges, its resonant frequency is almost 40 MHz. So we determined a detectable minimum and maximum sound pressure by this relation both in lower and higher regions. This figure uh, is for determining the minimum and maximum sound pressure in 14 MHz observation. From the right shown observation, we can see the both at, at 8 Pascal and 12,000 Pascal uh, respectively. And from this, the dynamic range uh, of PZT FET can be calculated and it is proved to be 63 decibel. The minimum, detectable ma the minimum detectable sound pressure and the linear dynamic range are highly improved against the typical uh, medical ultrasound transducer having 2000, 2000 Pascal and uh, 60, uh, 40 decibel respectively. These findings are attributable to sensitive piezoelectric effects, linearly varying charges, and its channel conductivity and dependency. This is our frequency characteristics of PZT FET, measured under the acoustic pressure at 1000 Pascal. From this uh, center frequency and bandwidth are proved to, to be uh, 14 megahertz uh, and 2.8 megahertz respectively. Then the minus 6 decibel specific bandwidth is calculated to be 20% uh, from this equation. The specific bandwidth of PZTFET narrows significantly against it of the current typical medical ultrasound transducer of 60%. According to, uh, according to the evidence, the most rate for the newly uh, designed PZTFET, here we reached 
two conclusions. First one is that the PGTFET proposed in our study uh, performed uh, excellent ultrasound receiving with high sensitivity and high dynamic range. The other one is that the bandwidth is revealed to be narrow. We think to use for a wideband particle, this drawback is need to be improved much more better. The specific bandwidth must be to at least 50% and preferentially 100%. Solution for this is to be reported as a result of the future work. And lastly, I'm going to finish my presentation with our future work. We are planning to conduct research in relation to the piezoelectric micromassing ultrasound transducers, which are driven by a membrane structure using a piezoelectric thin film. As a result of the vibration analysis using a finite element simulation, it is possible to design a physics and PMAS driving at a certain frequency. Using this tool, we will seek the one having high sensitivity and wide bandwidth by optimizing the size, size and the de-electric constant of the piezoelectric electric in the future. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your kindness.